Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support. My name is Rahul Kumar Tiwari and today as part of this video KB, we would be looking at metadata localization in E360. So let's quickly scan through the agenda of the video. We will start with the introduction as in what is metadata localization. The step needed to perform metadata localization, we will follow this up by a demo. So metadata localization is a feature which is available from MDM 10.3 versions. It is nothing but uh, when we log in into E360 UI, we get uh, from the we get an option to see the UI in different languages, that is English, French, Portuguese, and other available languages in the tab. So when we select any other language apart from English, uh, we see that the new records and uh, the other fe default features that are available in E360 UI gets converted to the corresponding language but the metadata so suppose we have defined a B or a B view so all the related entity for the B or B view it still gets reflected in its original state so to get that in the localized language we have to do certain configuration and that is what we meant by metadata localization so these are the steps that we need to follow to perform metadata localization so we will come to this let's quickly jump into the demo to understand what we are trying to state over here so I'm logging into my E360 UI so once I log in into my E360 UI from over here I have the options to choose a language so right now before choosing a language let's try to demonstrate you the difference so if I click on new I can see this entity this is my B that I have defined and as part of my schema similarly uh, so suppose I create a new person this for English record and I click on OK so I'm getting this thing as first name last name display name and all these things uh, similarly if I search for record uh, so if I go to over here queries and if let's search for a person record so if you search for a person record just observe the labels over here this is something uh, that we are going to change with metadata localization so it's it's all in English reason because my language is in English but what if if I change this to French so say I'm changing this thing to French so when I change this to French uh, the all the available uh, default tabs are converted in the respective French language but if I try creating a record I can still see this this uh, B names this metadata details in English so suppose if I create a person I can still see that the first name and the last name and the display name is all in English so is the person label over here okay so if I go and search in my queries if I select a person I can still see this is first name last name so this is uh, something which we will try to remediate with metadata localization so let's quickly see what are the steps required to do the metadata localization so to perform metadata localization we have to log into our provision tool so once we log into our provisioning tool we'll go to configuration general settings and we'll select metadata localization then we will click on metadata localization when, when we have this metadata localization in place we need to click on create template so once we create click on create template it will download a zip file so this is something it will download it will download a bs metadata zip file so what we need to do is we need to copy this file so we will uh, extract this uh, uh, downloaded bundle and we'll copy this file so suppose I want to localize this for friends so what I'll do is I will rename this file uh, with the ISO value so that is FR for French so I'll just rename it to FR and now open this BS metadata France file so over here uh, we will see let's do it for person so if I search for person dot label I will have something called as person over here so if I go backward direction find next so this is a label right so this is a label uh, for person similarly we will have label for person view as well so if I search for person view label so this is for person view uh, similarly we I have the first first name last name display name middle name so let's do these changes in two different variations first we will do the changes in person that is at the B level and then we will do at person view 
that is at B view level and we see what will be the difference so here I have localized name that is the first name in French uh, translate something to this the display name translate to this so, so does the label and the last name so what we'll do is we will just update this person first name uh, to this value in our the fr properties file so this is the person level so let's look this the we have to do it in for person so let's check for person dot first name and we'll do this changes Similarly, we have to do changes for all other levels. For display name, for person label, and finally for person last name. Once we have uh, done these changes, we need to save this file. So once this is saved, what we need to do is we need to go back. Uh, and we have to create a zip file out of it so we need to create the zip file having both the default as well as the localized metadata file so we will just zip it together once you zipped it we have to go to provisioning and we need to import it we have to import the zip file Once the zip file has been imported, we will get a message that the metadata was imported successfully. Now let's go to our E360 UI and test this. So I'm re-logging into my E360 UI. Remember we have only changed uh, made changes at the B level and not at the B view level. That is we have changed for person and not for the person view. So when we go to MD sample application and let's change it to French. So once this changes to French, we'll go to new. So you see, uh, at the view level, I can see now the person the name has changed to the French translation. So if I click on new, I can still, sorry, this is account that got selected. So if I click on a person, click on OK, I can see. I can still see this as first name, last name, display name. Reason is because we have not made changes to the person view labels because this information comes from person view, uh, I mean in the sense B view, not B. Uh, but if you go to the queries and let's try to run a person query, we'll, we'll see what the difference over there is. So when we launch the query, now see we, we get the information as the person translation over here. Similarly, we get this uh, first name and last name level reason is because this information flows from the B. Okay, so if we execute it, uh, we, we will not be able to see, see. We are seeing something as your first name is here, the middle name is uh, uh, sorry, the display name is here. Similarly, the other this is the first name, this is the last name, and this is the middle name. The reason is why we're seeing the changes over here is because we have made changes at the B level. Now let's go back and we quickly do the changes at the B view level as well. And then when we create a record, we'll be able to see these values to the corresponding localized value as well. So the process is same. We will we, instead of person dot first name, we'll select as person view dot first name, and we'll replace the corresponding labels. This person view display name. Person view dot label and person view dot last name. Once we do this, we will save this. The process is same. We will go back. I'll just delete the old one and we'll rezip this. Once this is done, we'll go back to provisioning UI. We will import this back. And now we'll try and log into E360 UI again. So I'm logging into my E360 UI. So now let's change the language to French. Now if I go to new, 
if I go to the person if I click on OK I'll see the labels over here has changed as well okay so uh, similarly for queries we were able to see at the query level but not at the result set level that also we'll be able to see it so over here so is this so this we are we are already seeing it so so did you this is at the B level and the B view level are re getting reflected over here are the all these labels over there so that was a quick demo and the same steps that we followed has been mentioned over here so you can pause it and read it hope this was helpful for you we would love to hear your feedback on this um, forums thank you for your time